we're going to export a system map to PDF format with a high level of detail. To do this, the first thing I did was to set a reference scale uh, for the map that I'm working with. So get it to where you uh, want the level of detail to be where you want it to be at uh, for your normal viewing of it, and then uh, set the reference scale to that first. So the next thing we're gonna do is to click on the insert menu up here at the top, and then go new layout, and then we're gonna do custom page size. So this is kind of the trick that lets you create the more detailed level of a PDF map. And so I'm gonna set this to a very large size, so 72 by 96. And you'll maybe want to experiment with getting the right size uh, to fit your particular system map, especially if you wanna do a really uh, large one. For example, if you're doing the entire map itself. And I'm gonna get kinda of close to that here. So we did that and we've created a new layout. And from here, we wanna to go to insert and then say map frame. And I'm gonna pick the one that's just directly to the right of the, uh, of the first one here. And that's actually uh, displaying the current extent. So basically what we saw back over here. And so what I'm gonna do is, uh, do that again here. And I'm gonna draw that out. And uh, that map frame that we're drawing is gonna be pretty much the size of the layout itself. So it doesn't have to be perfect, but I, I'll get pretty close there. And so you can see we have a light outline of the map. And uh, I'm going to then right click on it and then say activate. So this will allow me to then manipulate the map. So now I can zoom in and out and I could um, click the mouse button down and, and move it. Um, so I'm just going to get this so it shows a good chunk of the map. Of course, you'll want to be probably a little more careful than I am here as far as the placement of it. But this shows most of the system map. And once I'm done with that, I'm gonna click on layout. So this gets us out of activate mode so that it records uh, the extent that we were just showing there. So we're, it's basically remembering uh, this, uh, this map extent that we want for the actual export. So now that I've done that, um, all I need to do is then say share and then layout. And so I'll just give it a name here. So this is just a, a, you know, the name of the PDF file itself and we'll call it layout example. Uh, the resolution, like 300 works pretty good for most things, but you can also try experimenting with that. And then I'm going to say export. And so it's now exporting that file. And we will go and take a look at that when it's done. Okay, it's completed its exporting process. So now I just went and double clicked on the file that it generated. And I'll just uh, kind of zoom in here so you can kind of see the level of detail that we can get to here with a PDF. So I'm just gonna zoom way in and there it is. So it's a pretty good representation of the original map at that level of display that we currently had with that uh, reference scale that we had set. And so uh, now that we've done that, so let me close out of the PDF and uh, we've got this layout one file here. If you go back to your catalog pane, so that layout one that we just created is there. I can rename that, call it PDF map. And then later on, after I've made feature changes, I can just double click on that and uh, then just go right to the, uh, the share option layout uh, export and then just give it a new name and that's it you just say export so that's going to be the process after you've set that up one time is just go right back to the layout and then just export it again and that'll be it you'll be done